What's going on, y'all? Um, it's currently what nine o'clock in the morning right now. I've been up since seven, really, cause my dogs was barking so loud. I really couldn't go to sleep. I went to sleep at one o'clock in the morning. I need to get more rest. But anyway, now I know everybody got they certain things that they into. Everybody got one particular thing that's just their thing to do, and that's cool. I understand that. But y'all, young boys in Chicago, got to get off them drugs, man. Like it's terrible. Yesterday, I went to Harold's Chicken, right, after I got off work. You know, I want some Harold's, get that six wings with the mild sauce to, to make my day, right, after a long day. When I'm going up there, when I'm up on 87, I see several young dudes that's up there walking around looking like zombies. They get into their cars, nice cars, looking like straight-up zombies. I'm talking about crust in their eyes, eyes looking yellow. Like, just looking like straight fiends. And I know they under the influence of some type of drugs. I can tell. They walking slow, talking slow, doing everything in slow motion. And I'm like, this is horrible. And then they looking dusty in the face with nice clothes on. And I'm like, fam, like, for real? Like, it's, look, it's looking crazy out here. And I'm like, who dating y'all? What woman is taking y'all serious? Who y'all kissing on and stuff? Because... You out here looking like uh, like something from The Walking Dead. And then I got to think to myself that maybe they dating a girl that's into the same things that they into. So they don't hear the complaining. I don't know. But either way, it looks terrible out here. And like my girl was with me. She looking like, ugh. And I'm like, yeah, because they looking crazy out here. Like, again, talking slow, moving in slow motion. Face looking dusty and ashy. Like, I, for real, I'm walking into Harold's. It's dudes in there and outside of there that, like, for real, look like they just been doing hard drugs. 25 at most, probably, looking like they're 45. The drugs got you aging super fast and super quick. Like, you look like you took, like, 10, 20 years older than what you are. At least 10. That's a problem. Like, I don't know what drugs is out here because I've never been into drugs. I never smoked a day in my life. I Like, I don't I don't drink at all. Like, I barely drink. The only time I drink is, like, on some champagne. I mean, not champagne. Yeah, champagne or some wine on a really, really, really special occasion. Other than that, I'm drinking the Welch's. And everybody can corroborate the story. Like, they know me. They know I don't. I'm, I'm never under the influence of nothing. Like, I'm never. Like, this is not for me. But I don't know what's going on out here. If they popping pills. If they drinking lean too much, I don't I don't know what if it's something in the weed, y'all tell me. But it's it got my people out here looking bad. Looking like you living super hard and rough. Super hard and rough. And like maybe you are. I don't know what the circumstances are, what the person is going through. I don't know. But I'm telling y'all, it's young boys. See, even 18, 19, looking like your face sunken in. I'm like, damn, like what 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 is that? What is that? Whatever it is, I want to stay far away from. I don't want nobody that I love involved in that mess. And, you know, I got love for my people, too, so I don't want them on that either. But I'm like, public service announcement. Y'all got to stop that, man. It, 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 I don't, and then again, I don't know how you functioning properly throughout the day. Because it's looking like, from the way I saw them, they're looking like one of the people that is a functioning addict. Like, that you, like, you have to... To get through your day, you got to do whatever drug you, you you doing. When you wake up in the morning, before you eat, before you go to sleep, before you go out, all of that. And, I, it, man, I, if y'all got, again, these people are young people that dress nice and, and nice cars. And whatever you engaging in, if you got a, a nine to five or a job, how do you function at your job? How are you, how are you communicating properly? Because I'm hearing them even giving their orders and heralds, and they it's horrible how they communicate. The people behind the register looking like, what What the hell? What? It's like, I don't, I don't know, man. I don't get it, man. It's just like, you looking like a whole, what we call in Chicago, we call them clucks. You look like a, a fiend. And it's not a good look, man. It's, it's really not a good look, especially to be for anybody, any anybody of any age. But especially to be a young man, a young person out here. Because we're expected to be leaders, expected to be the ones to to help change the mode of society and to guide the individuals younger than us, which would be our children, our cousins, our brothers and sisters, and uh, even just close friends and people that, friends of our, uh, kids of our friends. 
So what type of example are we leading? We out here on all type of drugs and looking crazy. And I know people was on drugs in the other in the previous eras before us and previous generations, but like we gotta hone it in, cause like how that look what I saw yesterday, like it was scary. Uh, it looked like legit something on the Walking Dead, face sunken in, eyes looking yellow, crusty, and I'm who what? I don't know, man. I, I this this drugs now is super powerful. It always been powerful, you know. Anytime I knew, cause when I was hearing stories about crack, anytime you get somebody trying to carry a refrigerator down the street, that's how I knew crack was a powerful drug. And I knew I didn't want no parts of no drugs at all. You drugs got you out here selling selling your cars, your mama a car. It, it, it's terrible, stealing from your people. But now it's like drugs are popularized so much. By rap artists that don't even do those drugs themselves. Like, Future even admitted, admitted he don't do the, the drugs that he talking about. And he's a, he was ashamed to admit that. What the hell? But yeah, young boys out here, they following the trends and, and getting lost in the sauce. And now, their lives is looking like, they looking like Benjamin Button out here. They looking old at a young age. I'm like, if y'all would have saw what I saw, you'd be like, Damn. What is that? Did he own? Cause it, it it was not a pretty sight. It wasn't a pretty sight. And again, these are the people that are living amongst me that I that I gotta interact with in some type of way. And I'm not saying that, you know, I'm not trying to talk super down, but it's like you gotta clean it up. Cause these are people that go be interacting with my children. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like not interacting with my children. They not, but they gonna be raising kids, interacting with my children, all that type of stuff. And we probably gonna see each other, whatever. And I'm out here like, I can't. How can we communicate? We can't. And then you off so much drugs, it's causing you to be irrational and think irrational. So if I'm or somebody else, you come across somebody else and Somebody step on your shoe on accident or whatever. You super enraged off of whatever drug you want. Because I even heard lean make people agitated to the core. You willing, to do, you willing to do something stupid because somebody accidentally bumped you or stepped on you, stepped on your shoe because of them drugs got you so fueled up and charged up. So I don't know, man. Chicago, young men in Chicago, we got to get it together, man. We, we got to get it together, family, because that ain't no good look. Especially y'all trying to lead children. You probably can't even function with your kids probably because you off so many drugs. They run around doing whatever they want to do because you going off of it. And then they send them to school, send them to school with, with my child. And then I, I, I got to deal with whatever come with that. Like, nah, clean that up, man. Y'all tell me if y'all see the same thing. Y'all let me know if I'm tripping. Peace.